Hey guys, Marco Juco21 here today. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get free native Wi Fi hotspots on the ATT Samsung Galaxy S4. And this only works on the ATT model, unfortunately, guys. So if you guys have like uh, Sprint, Verizon, T Mobile, I don't know, I don't think this is going to work. I have only tried this on the, my ATT model, so I don't know if any other carriers. Um, if it doesn't allow it so this means you don't have to pay that $20 a month for tethering at AT&T will never know so it's a pretty good thing so what you're gonna need to do uh, make sure your Samsung Galaxy is the i337 model I have no um, I can't guarantee you if you don't have the i337 model that this uh, this uh, free native uh, hotspot is gonna work first thing you need to do is go into your uh, Google Chrome or whatever browser you have go to the link that's down below in the description as you guys can see it right over here I do have my download uh, Android ROM and what we're going to download here is tetheringprovision.apk if you scroll all the way to the bottom it says download is ready I already downloaded this on mine as you guys can see pipe dream you just gotta type that in and then click download it will start downloading after you're done with that, go to the Play Store and download this application. It's a free application called Root Browser. After you're done downloading Root Browser, click Open. When you first open it, it says Download Utilities. We're just going to say no to that. Then what you want to do is scroll all the way up until you find Systems, which is actually right here. Then what you want to do is go to Apps. Scroll all the way down until you find Tethering Provision APK. After you're done finding it, which is right over here, the dot .apk, you're not going to have these dot .bake. So um, once you have your uh, the first one is dot .apk on your guys' device, because I already did this on mine. The one that says dot .apk, change that to dot .bak. And then the one that says dot .odex, change that to bake1. And that should... Uh, um, it should uh, ask you to do a super user grant just uh, grant it for 10 minutes because it's gonna ask you a lot of times to allow um, the super user super user grant so um, oh, it's just gonna ask it a lot of times so just do so, uh, set it for just 10 minutes just saying yes it'll have this option here after you're done changing those to BAK what we're gonna do is go back all the way into our SD cards into our downloads once you're in your downloads try to find the tethering.apk I see it you guys I have it twice because I accidentally downloaded it twice so you guys will only have one which is right here you want to hold that down and click copy it and I'm not gonna do that because actually you know what? I'm just gonna do it for the sake of this video I'm gonna copy it and it's gonna say paste down here what you want to do is go all the way back to your systems then go into your apps and then paste it right here. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. Paste it right here, and that's all you guys have to do. So after you guys are you paste it in, hold your uh, power button and then click uh, reset. I already did it on mine, so it's already done. After you're done resetting, go all the way to your uh, settings, go to your mobile network, and then turn on your uh, hotspot. And let's see if this actually works. Oh yeah, I um make sure your Wi-Fi is off if you guys have that on. Okay, so my Wi-Fi is actually off now. It now has 4G LTE, so you guys can see Wi-Fi is off. Let me pull that back up. So there we go. We just got a hotspot right there. Now I'm gonna actually show you guys um that this actually works. So I got an iPhone 5 right here. I'm gonna go to speed test. And right now I'm actually connected to my uh, actual router, not my uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. I'm actually going to begin a test right now and then compare the differences. Okay guys, you guys can see it says I'm on Netgear right now. I'm going to actually change that and try to find my Samsung Galaxy S4 right down here. All I'm going to need to do is actually see what the password is, which is just uh, that right over there. So I'm going to type that in real quick. Once I have the password, I'm just going to click join. 
and you guys will see here in a second that the devices will pop up so it's trying to connect right now so let's see if it uh, there we go right there you guys can see this is my grandma's iPhone okay so it actually gives you the IP address some good information right there tells you all about it so now if I go back okay so now what I can do here is give you guys a speed test on how it does with the for our hotspot speed so let's begin the test and let's see how it does You guys can see here we're getting some pretty good speeds right here. Uploads in the 10, actually it's going down a little bit. Around the 7 megabytes to 6. So there we go, we got an average of that much. If we go to results here, as you guys can see these were my last two. This one was from my Netgear, this one's from my Samsung. So that is mostly it. That's how you guys get free native Wi-Fi on your guys' uh, Samsung Galaxy S4. If you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment. See you guys later. Michael George 1. Peace.